In this tutorial, I'll show you how to quickly fit this dress to a figure that is half the size. So if you wanted to fit it to a dwarf, a hobbit, or a small fairy, this is how you do it. So let's open up our avatar, file open avatar. And I'm going to use the Olympia 6 figure from Daz Studio. I scaled her down to 50% in Daz, so I'll double click her. OK. And here she is. So the first thing I'm going to do is Control A to select all the parts of my dress, click on it to get my gizmo, and then use this arrow to push it down. Something like that. Then I'll do Shift X, X to bring up her x-ray joints, and then I'll grab this point here and push her up so she sort of fits into it. Then I'll rotate her arms down so that they're in the sleeves, more or less. Same thing with this one. There we go. Now her butt is sticking out of there, so I'm just going to take the back of the dress and nudge it out, like that. And then I'm going to select all the pattern pieces and raise the particle distance to 15. And if you have a very fast computer, then you might not have to do that. Simulate. That's the spacebar or this button here. And we can see she's totally lost in that dress, but that's all right. Let's just make sure that no body parts are sticking out. And then I'm going to select all the pattern pieces. And here in shrinkage weft, I'm going to type in 0.8 and the same thing in shrinkage warp. So what the shrinkage weft and warp does, it either makes the clothes stretched out and longer or shrunk and shorter. So weft is for the width, and warp is for the height. And if you put it to 1, that's like 100%, which is the normal size. If you put it to 0.8, that would be like 80% of the size, which would make it a bit shorter. And if you put it to 0.5 or 0.4, it would be like 50% or 40%. So the, the lower you put the numbers, the shorter it will be either on the width or on the height, depending what numbers you put into which box. Now I will be lowering it to 0.5, but I did it to 0.8 first, because if I do it all the way from 1 to 0.5, it sometimes goes a bit crazy and it goes through her skin and doesn't quite do what I want it to do. So it's better sometimes to go down slowly to 0.8 and then to 0.5. And if your model is even smaller, then you can go on further to 0.4 or whatever number you have to go to. And you can also do different numbers in the weft or in the warp, depending if your model is just extremely long but still the same width like a normal model, then you can leave the weft alone and just play with the warp. All right, so let's simulate. And the dress just got a bit shorter. You can see here there's some trouble with her feet. So I'm going to zoom up and separate these pattern pieces here. And then simulate and tug on it. Alright, now I'm going to pull it up here a bit over her breast and then I'm going to make it a bit smaller. Oh, so here her finger is stuck in it, so I'm going to tug in it, and here too, to get it out of her hands. Something like that. Then I'll select all the pieces again, and lower it to 0.5. Simulate. Now if we show our seam lines, Shift S, we can see that this should be on her shoulder, but it's way off. Also, this should be around her elbow, so I'm going to tug on the sleeve to get it up to where it should be. Now, this shirt is a bit too tight on her, I think, and also the sleeves, they lost their wrinkles. Also, in the back, it looks very skin tight, and I don't really like that. So I'm going to select the sleeve with the cuffs, and this one. Select the patterns, the shirt front and back, and also the collar and then put it to 0.6. We'll leave the warp for the moment and just play with the weft. And that made it a bit looser. You can see some more wrinkles here. Also some lines here. Now I can see that there's a problem here. It keeps wriggling around like that. And that's because there are two layers to these um, sleeve endings and they're not quite sure what should be on top after we've been playing with the weft and warp. So I'm going to select the top layer, 
put it to layer 1, simulate, and there now it's fine. Then we can go back there and set it back to layer 0. Now I think it's still a bit too low on her, so I'm going to tug on it, and then we might get some more wrinkles here too. I think the width is okay, the sleeves are alright. If you want them wider, then just increase the stretch width. And here it is at particle distance 5. I see here there's a little problem with the button, so I'm going to get hold of it, pull it out, then simulate again. I'm also going to go ahead and select my buttons and lower the particle distance to 3. And there she is in her dress. So that's how we can take a big dress like this and fit it to a 50 scale model. I hope this tutorial helps you and see you in the next ones.